So here at this facility, we pull up water from the ground, we add in um, organisms that are stand-ins for what we really want to treat in a utility. So these are very safe organisms that we put through the reactor, we turn the lamps on and uh, measure the concentration of the bugs before the reactor in the inlet side, and then also take samples after the treatment process has taken place through the reactor on the outlet side. And the difference in the concentration of the microorganisms we're putting in there tells us how much disinfection has taken place. The main reason that we're here is to develop a set of bioassay test data. This groundwater pump station is part of the Columbia South Shore well field. So we pull up about 90 million gallons a day of water. We feed it through the UV reactor to develop the test data, the live microorganism disinfection data, and then it outfalls in the Columbia Slough. Should I introduce myself again, do you think? I'm gonna blab about UV. I'm gonna sound really smart. You sound okay? It's very different from chemical disinfection because some bugs are protected from chemical disinfectants, bugs like Cryptosporidium and Giardia, but in those cases where chlorine can't cross over that cellular barrier, the UV can get into the DNA and cross over that barrier very easily. So UV can disinfect organisms very quickly, whereas chlorine isn't quite as uh, efficient. It doesn't cause any taste or odor problems in the water, and it doesn't form any uh, problematic disinfection byproducts. You get to see uh, on the ground level exactly what the equipment vendors have to go through to put this equipment together. You really see um, from their perspective what it takes to make this equipment work. So all of our experiences here in Portland have given uh, Corolla a very unique perspective on uh, the UV market and especially the ins and outs of UV equipment.